Session Work in Progress folder. It's a Photoshop. I'm going to go ahead and save. Now I'm very close to my final image. Oh. My, until, I, until I go to LAB. So now, now we're going to go to LAB. What's LAB? LAB is a new, that's not new, LAB is a, a color space. We know RGB, we always use RGB. Mm -hmm. we're, we're, if you're printing, you're using CYMK, CK, CYMK. I don't, I don't do a lot of printing, so that's a color space. RGB is about this big. CMYK is about the same size. Adobe sRGB is a little bit bigger. Pro Photo is a little bit bigger than that. And LAB is about this big. Hmm. It has so many colors in it, you can't even see some colors. Uh, why would you? With, with the physics they have right now, they can't define the color, but it's in, it's in LAB. So what I want to do is I want to show you, again, like I did before, let me go through the steps and then we'll do it, we'll do it together. So what, what LED measures, what LED means is it's got, you know, we have three channels in RGB, red, green, and blue. That's what we always work with. When you go to LED, you've got the L channel, that's what LED stands for. L stands for lightness. It's pure black on the left and pure white on the other side, and in the middle it's neither. It's neutral gray. The A channel is green to magenta, and in the middle it's neither. And the B channel, depending who you listen to, it's blue on one side and yellow on the other, or yellow on one side and blue on the other. <coughs> they switch them around. But in the middle, it's neither. And I'll, I'll, show, I'll show you that in the middle. And with the LED, when I, let me just show you, it's easier. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll talk you through it as we go. Okay. Has anybody tried LED? Yeah, some people, you, you yeah. guys have tried this. Leslie's done a good job. It's, it's, it's pretty wild. Uh, so, first thing I want to do, you have to be, you have to be a single A, it's going to have, it's going to push you to, to cut it back. What you want to do to begin with, oh, my notes tell you that, uh, I've already, if I go to image mode, you'll see LED. But before you can do that, excuse me a minute, there's an instruction in here. It's the color profile. Under edit. Say that again. Go to edit and then to color profile. Then at the bottom. And then it should pull up the different options for that. Change color profile. I have to come up and look at it. Yeah, color settings. The one that says change color, yeah. yeah. And when you bring this up, on, on the handout, I've got this box and it shows which boxes to check and which, which things to fit. Make sure it fits that. Because because Harold said so. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I, 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 I can't argue with that. But those settings seem to work. But there, there's some that are critical. I don't remember. If you watch his video for 10 hours, he'll tell you which buttons to press. But this is a summary. What, what I have here is what, what he's told us to do. I'm going to do, I don't need to do this because I've already done it 100 times. So now, now to get to LAB, all I do is that, I want to show you this to begin with. You see the channel, the channels tab? I'm hitting my channels tab, and you can see it says red, green, blue. Well, it says RGB. A red channel, a blue channel, and a green channel. That's what we always work on. So now, I'm going to go to my image, image mode, and when I click on the lab color, watch what happens to the channel. Watch what happens to my channels. Press the wrong button. Instead of red, green, blue, and RGB, it now says LAB. It says lightness, the lightness channel, an A channel, and a B channel. 
each one of those each one of those makes makes something. Let me just show you. I've got all four channels selected. I've got all four eyeballs on. I'm going to just show you what happens. So now, excuse me. Did you make a duplicate of your picture so you can do it again on the whiteness? No, that that's that's down in a couple steps. I, okay. I, I'm, just, I'm just showing. I want to show the actual inversion of what happens, okay. and then I'll show you. Okay. Yeah. So now what I want to do, I want to invert this. And, and because I've got the whiteness channel highlighted, so it's active, anything that is white will become black. Anything that be, that's blue is going to become yellow. It's just going to flip its color. So to do that, you go to image adjustment, come down to invert. That's a pretty cocky image. <laughs> but with some flowers it really works. And I'll show you a way to, I'll show you a way later to fix it. Let, let me do a command zero to get back. Command Z to get back to a my image. But now what I did here is I as I did all four channel, all four channels. What happens if I just take one the, the lightness channel? Let me highlight just the lightness channel. But I want to turn the eyeball on on all four. Now, if I if I do the same thing again, you do image adjustments, invert. That's not so bad. And what I did is I I didn't change the reds to green. I didn't change the greens to magenta. I didn't change the blues to yellow. I changed the blacks to white because I was only working on the lightest channel. Hmm. You get that? that? That's important. Because I picked the channel, I, I picked the black and white channel. And, then, and I inverted all those colors, all those white colors, to black. So as long as you don't have a lot of white in the flowers? Any part, that's right, any part of the it flower won't that turn black. is now coming off black. Any part of the flower that was black. He's got a, you can see a little bit of white in there. Yeah. And there's some, there's, there's total colors too. If there's grays, the grays are going to go to a gray on the other side of the scale. Mm. It just changes, it's, it flips its number around, around uh, what's up at 256.